This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, their physical programming unit. I'm on the lesson function with parameters. Clouds. This program makes the clouds move when the when you blow on the sound sensor, but it's not finished. Create a new function, move cloud, and then the parameter name that will move any cloud. Hint, you will use almost all the same code as the move cloud zero function. Move cloud. Ah, right here, got it. Call your new move cloud name function inside the event block, and call just means like this. Once once for each cloud name, once for each cloud name, hint. This is similar to how you to how the loop cloud name function is called many times. Loop cloud name. Okay, let's give it a shot. Let's first so I let's test out what this does already. So when does this move? Move cloud threshold. Oh right. I'm gonna test this real quick. I'm creating wind by blowing on the board. Aha. So, this is working, we can tell. They want us to use a parameter though. So what I'm gonna do is if it's similar to this, I'm gonna copy by using Control C, and then I am going to, and I clicked on show text, paste, Control V, okay? And now that I've done that, we're going to get rid of the zero, and we're going to add a parameter. So our parameter is name, like we have for loop. I'm going to hit this over button, and I'm just going to type in name. Name is now like a variable. It can represent whatever we want it to. When they call the loop cloud function, loop cloud, cloud zero. The computer is looking around for a function to run. Oh, here it is. I'll run loop cloud, and it starts running this code. If get property name, oh, what's name? Oh, what's name? Uh, well, loop cloud, oh yeah, uh, name is cloud zero. Oh, where's that? I'll reset this. Oh, here's cloud zero. Okay, well now I'm gonna change, or I'm gonna get the X value of cloud zero and check. See, so this is gonna be a parameter that we can change up each time we ask the computer to run this function. So name, that means instead of doing cloud zero and limiting us to one cloud, we can write name here and again here and have this function work on every cloud. So now instead of saying move cloud zero, you know what, I can even get rid of this because now I can use this same function and it's saying, instead of saying move cloud zero, I can say move cloud and then which cloud? Just like we did with the loop one, cloud zero in quotes because that's the id of it yep and now i'm going to add another right and i can do it again move cloud and then what cloud well cloud one and then let's see Ooh, i'm going to just copy and paste some stuff here so one two three four so i'm just going to do Control c for copy and then paste here Control V is paste. And now I'm going to delete loop and write in move. Because we need all of these to be function calls to the move cloud function that we just created. Oh, not that one. Okay. And now when we when on the board event, and so we set this sound sensor dot threshold, we set this equal to 50. So once this variable or once this property 50, on board event sound sensor change. So on the event of the board having its sound sensor change, this function will execute. And what this function does is run all of these functions. Move the cloud, cloud zero. Oh, okay, move cloud, cloud zero. Uh, okay, where is that? It's this one, where is it currently? Okay, set the new property to be where it was currently that we just found and add a random number to it. And so this is only going to trigger when the sound sensor sets off. The sound sensor gets set off by, uh, well, by wind, by me blowing on the board, hopefully. All right, let's give it a test.
Earthquake! That's super cool. And the loop works still too. Awesome. Let's keep going. 